This is my story about the time I dated a secret psycho. I met a girl, went on about 12 dates over about three months, and then she sent me a text and she was like, hey, come over to my house next Saturday. I have a secret special surprise for you. In my head, I'm picturing like nice dinner, some wine, and definitely sex stuff. I get to her house and she meets me at the door and she's got a car packed ready for an excursion. And she's got like a little thermal thing full of tea. I drink coffee, but you know, we can forget that. We're excited, we're going on an excursion and this is gonna be fun. So we're in the car and there is this, this real excited, nervous energy. And I'm trying to ask little questions about where we might be going to try and figure it out. And she's like, just coyly smiling. You'll never guess. And she was right. And I reckon we'd been driving past our place for about an hour and I realized we were sort of near some wineries. I was like, oh my God, she's remembered how much I love wine. She's taking me to a winery. This is gonna be awesome. And then we drove past and then we drove a bit further and we got towards where there's like a wildlife sanctuary. And I was like, oh sweet, like she remembered how much I love animals, this is gonna be cool. Then we drove past, and then we drove about an hour and a half past every reference point I could have. We're in the middle of nowhere, where the hell are you taking me? And she's like, shh, it's a surprise. She stops the car and she pulls up the handbrake and she's like, okay, get out. And I'm like, but where are we going? And she's like, no, no, it's a surprise, don't spoil it. And so then we get out the car and I'm kind of nervously following like a couple steps behind. This real peppiness that she kind of runs to where she's taking me. And eventually she stops near this kind of bunker and goes, this is it. And I was like, what the hell is this? I think she must have realized how frightened I was for the first time. And she just goes, I've been preparing for the end of the world. You what? And she said, I'm a doomsday survivalist. The end is coming and I'm ready. And I realized that this woman is crazy. <laughs> she walks in and she's proudly displaying everything that's on her little shelf. So I've got tin food and over there I've got my blanket. And then she shows me the wall that had been worrying me the most, which is like full of knives and baseball bats. Each wall freaks me out more. And I'm thinking, oh, no, she's gonna kill me, you know? Like, I'm starting to like imagine all of the things I should have caught on our dates, that she's a psycho. She does love true crime drama a bit too much. Like the fact that Wolf Creek was her favorite movie was just not okay for me. But I think the thing that stood out the most as like a warning sign that I missed was the time I saw her eat a scone dry, like without jam or cream. She just sat there like, like a psychopath, you know? And from there, just picturing this dried, munching scone woman killing me, I was like, I think I'd just like to go home. And she was like, well, that wasn't the reaction I thought I'd get. And I was like, what reaction did you think you'd get? And she's like, well, I guess I thought you'd be surprised at first, but then I thought that you'd be excited and she kind of nodded towards the bed she thought we were gonna just you know do it in this hut i just want to get out of there as quickly as possible so then we start driving back and it is just the most awkward silence i've ever had and we're barely even looking at each other eventually she just looks at me and out of nowhere she goes please can you promise me that you will not tell anyone about my bunker and i just say i promise Thank <laughs> you.